folks, welcome to a very special edition of Do It Now. I'm, I'm so excited. I'm your host, Javid, and I'm excited to have my boy, my Woo! brother from another <laughs> mm. gospel sensation, gospel recording artist. I, we're on location in Nashville, by the way. That's why everything looks different. Uh, thanks. Shout out to TBN for letting us use y'all studio. Yeah. To do this real quick. Uh, Gospel sensation, Todd Delaney. My name's Todd Delaney. Your name is Todd What's Delaney. What's up, man? What's up? Chilling. Got your white pants on, blinging. Hey, man, this guy's been out. on me about. Arms. This guy's been on me about my white pants on. What is the problem? What is Our the problem? arms out? You know, white. White is kind of a. When I went to church as a kid, white, I meant purity. It was holiness. You hear me? <laughs> that, I mean. What do you think? So you want so you want people to know how holy you are. You hear me? I'm living up right. I do feel like you think you're a little bit more holier than no, you I, usually I, I, are. I, I'm actually in a you, good place right now. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> you're like this, like I'm loving I'm Jesus. Good, yeah, I am. I'm on it fire. It feels good to love Jesus, it right? It does. It does. And to know you saved for real. Hey, look, listen, you go ups and downs in this yeah. walk. You know what I mean? Sometimes this walk is not easy. It's not easy. And so when you in a place where you know you're hearing from God and you're obeying God. Uh-huh. And, Shoot, you gotta you gotta boast so, on so that I, thing. So, so am I am I hearing you correctly? You're on a up up. Oh yeah, no no no. I feel great. I'm I'm walking upright with God. So no I so no great. weed. No no no. no. <laughs> God no, I ain't done that a long time. <laughs> it's been a long. It's, it's oh, been, no no. I, you know, when I played baseball. I, <laughs> Had yes, a little bit, little, little, a little bit rough day. You know, yes, I've had man. some good days. I've had some bad days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you what I like about you, Todd. You, to me, no dis, no, no discredit to nobody else, but you are, in my opinion, one of the realest. Oh man. Uh, in, in you the know industry. me, Javen. Yeah, I, like yeah. You, you see what you get is what you, you see. What you so get. you have to, for me, you have to be careful with that. Yeah. <laughs> for me, yeah, like I'll say too much. And um and I, yeah, 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 I do. You have told me something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't say that out loud no more. No, but but you know, it keeps me, it keeps me um true to me. Yeah. It keeps me true to the way I was raised, it keeps me true to my family. Yeah. And I think there's a lot of people out there that appreciate it too, because I think many believe that when once you develop a relationship with Jesus Christ, you lose the authenticity of a, of who you are. Ooh, that's and good. I never want that to be. I want people to be able to look at me and say, I can live for Jesus oh, if wow. if it's that You just killed that. Yeah, so that's that's how I try that's why ki- I try to you killed that. That that to me speaks to more of the issue of religiosity and mm, the, the mm. burden of religion and how that really, really causes people yeah. to lose themselves. Boy, I I'm, I'm and gonna people go here. run. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go here for just one quick second, and I'm gonna get off this. I believe there are people that that have less than they should have. I believe there are people that even are six feet under, even you know, this COVID oh, situation man. and whatnot, that were trying to be super religious. Yeah, yeah. I probably shouldn't have said that, but you probably really shouldn't have said that. But I mean, I but, I get it though. No, because but yes, because trying like to, be to be religious careful. and not in a relationship and having faith is a yeah. whole different thing. And you can't just splurt off talking and saying stuff that you heard your pastor say and you really don't have a re- revelation of it. And it may and it, and it may not even be for you. Like that might be good for your pastor or that might be good for sister so and so or that might be good for brother so and so, but your path, you know, everybody can't drink milk. Everybody yeah. can't drink you it, know, it reminds you know me saying? it reminds me of when the demonic spirit said, "Paul, I know Jesus, I but know, who are you? but who are you? It reminds me of that if you have no true revelation of who God is, those spirits won't respond to you. We, and- ju- we just got, <laughs> put that camera on me real quick. We just got real deep. <laughs> How did we get that? Yeah, that's, that's the thing, though. Because I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Touch. <laughs> you, you're doing a lot right now. You, yeah. you're, you, you, you started off, for people that don't know, you started off in? In professional baseball with the New York Mets. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know you never said that. We just, by the way, we just got through doing the taping for TBN. Y'all got to catch that special when, when, it com- when, it com- <laughs> when it comes out. Why did you never said that? I, did, that was I don't a, know. That's an error on your part. It is. I felt like I tried. Y'all, listen. You y'all didn't watch- set me up. No, no, right. no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. What I'm going to tell you is I tried to pitch to him several times. Y'all watch the show. I You're going to be like, he. I see where he was trying. Like I a forgot. couple of times I kept saying, Okay, and then you got the big But we call. had a picture come up no, you know, no, no. that had the Mets uniform on. How do you know there was a picture? Oh, because you watched it, was, it behind Yeah, hey, I saw it. I saw me. Number, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's not you. That's supposed to be. I forgot. I really did forget. 
I forget. I was supposed to tell the world that I actually played professional baseball with the New York Mets. I kept I saying, y- y'all listen, I kept saying, hey, man, then you got the call. You finally got the call. You, you go, sure no. Did. You go, you go, Smokey, no. <laughs> like, <laughs> what the heck does Smokey <laughs> have to do with baseball? I've... I realize now that you did do that. Yeah, I kept saying it, and you just would not go there to save your life. And I was like, I'm going to move on (laughs) because he is not. (laughs) What was going on there? I don't know, but that that right there. (laughs) Blockage? I just realized it right now. I literally was trying to, I I wanted to, all right, so since we didn't capture that moment on the show, let's capture it on the podcast. Yes. So what was the moment? All right, so you you played AAA, AA, all that stuff, five years. Yes, I played minor league baseball. Five total years of minor league going baseball, at it. going hard, trying to make it happen in the New York Mets organization. Hey guys, in the New York Mets organization, <laughs> and and uh, one off season, I came home and set it up. Now, now I'm gonna set it up. And tell stories. I, let me do it right. Yeah. I, I come home. You was I, down. I, I was I was living in sin. Ah! All I wanted to do Depressed. was play ball. Yes, and I met this young lady. Huh. Young lady was always, always come, put the camera on me. Always, uh, always a woman. You hear me? A woman. <laughs> we is, love you, lady. You, yes, we do. <laughs> I met this young lady, and she asked me to go to church with her one Tuesday night because that was the only night that the they had services at this church at that time. Okay. So on Tuesday night, I was trying. I said, "Man, I'm just gonna go ahead and do what I gotta do to get close to this 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 little one right here." Amen. And so I went, and that night, all night long, I was I felt like. That message was for me. The music was for me. The atmosphere was for me. I, I ended up not even really talking to the girl. I was just like, hey, I was sitting in there and I was like shaking. Well, I said, like, oh my God, what are we doing here? And then they said, is anybody in here want to get a life to the Lord? Not. Nah, I just get up out of my chair right away. Right away. I start walking. I'm up there. I walk up there. I'm crying. I'm standing on the altar and I'm not even knowing. They said, oh, you know, repeat after me. I'm like, I'm repeating Come what on. they're saying. And, um, but and, you know, that was real good. Yeah. When you shared that in the, uh, the show we just taped, I thought that was real good. I asked you something about how did that end up happening. Yeah. You talked about how your parents have the planted seeds, all them seeds. The Ooh. seeds. Now, because cause, cause I think a lot of parents, and I'm a parent of five, and so I think a lot of parents sometimes you think it's don't, not. you don't think it's working. You don't think that, that was this, so good. Though. Oh, my gosh. That like, was so good. Because I feel like it's something. I got my son here with me today. Yeah. I feel like it's not working. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, dude, I'm talking to you. I'm telling you all these things so that you don't have to go down the crooked path that I went to get to where, where I am. Uh, Todd Jr., come up here right quick. Just wave on the camera. Don't, you don't have to say nothing. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is Todd's son. So I got him here today with me because he's a part of now um, my homeschool curriculum course. Come up here. And so I teach him daily and, um, and really because I want to. Just I want kneel, to, kneel down there right there. He's the 12 camera. years old. He's 12 years old. He's a baseball guy, and he's he's pretty tall. Stand up, son. There you go. He's pretty tall for a 12-year-old, but I have to keep him in his place. You know what I mean? If I have to, you know, pet, pet, you know what I mean? I have to sometimes tighten him up. But but um, I pulled him out of there school. Give him some dap. I, I pulled him out of school um, so that I can, one, spend time with him because I'm traveling a lot, but so that I could, two, make sure that he does not go down the crooked path yeah. that I went. And yeah. I he... Looks like me, he acts like me, he thinks like me. And all of the things he thinks that are new, like he thinks he's inventing, right, sneaking right. around the fact that he just put Snapchat on my phone even while we were in it right now, <laughs> that I already know. All right, leave him alone. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and sit all down. Right, see, see, <laughs> but, but yes, I am his roadmap. And so and, then, it, and and at some point, all of what you're putting into him, no matter what, is going to come back is what the Bible to says. the point where I was when I went walking down that aisle and gave my Now, life you see what you're Lord. doing again, right? Wow. You see what you're doing again, right? What's that? Like, you're taking us to the point of salvation, right? And the question was, how did you get called up to playing professional baseball for the umpteenth <laughs> time for the New York Mets? <laughs> <laughs> so I Why told do you, you not want to so tell I us? So I told you, I was in the minor leagues with the New York Mets. And then when I went home for the offseason, I never went back. Explain. Keep going. So as I, <laughs> this, this, this little podcast is it's all over. No, so, I'm just telling you because I know people are going to be going, how do you? Okay, so no. You see so what I'm saying? I'm in, I'm in the New York Mets organization. I go home in the offseason. 
And that's when I go to the church with the young and you lady. You get saved and you don't go back. I get saved. See, I'm you didn't say that, though. Oh, you People don't know. I'm trying to help you. Have, you have to give I, me Am I right? Y'all watch. I promise you. They're going to say, he, thank he, you, he Javen, give, look, for tying the dots, <laughs> connecting the dots. This is, this so, is, so, so you, you're this is the worst interviewer for, of for, all time. He is not good at this job. <laughs> <It's like, laughs> Okay, go. So, 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 because people may not know that yeah. New York Mets has a My, a farm system. There you're, you you're go. Right. Okay, so th- let me explain it. So, I, I I go home in the off season. I get saved. I give my life to the Lord. So much so that I had this crazy epiphany, radical experience. Right where I I, I go to my parents and I say. When spring training comes around, that I don't want to. Crazy. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to do that anymore. I wouldn't want to be in that house. No, they 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 thought I was nuts. Oh, they they God. was like this kid. They, I know somebody raised their voice. Yeah, in they that said house. they they yeah they cussed me clean. Oh, I they, know. They, they, <laughs> they <laughs> said that <laughs> this is somebody. not God. That's no, not God. You I talk said, about no. your son. I know they were probably looking at you like yeah, this boy. This boy done lost it. He ain't he ain't found God yet. But I, I had I actually, I, you know, I knew. For one, it was not as much purpose in baseball for, for me. Right. I didn't feel like I had as much purpose. Mm. Like once I started uh, going to the church consistently, singing on the praise team, I felt a sense of purpose, purpose. in life. As a, as a man. As, as a man, man. yeah. Come I said, on, I, said I'm, I, I was like, I'm on stage good, and God. I see people finding Jesus and I'm a that's part of that. Good. That means good. more. It, it, you, Is that truly your motivation in, at this time? You're not thinking something else? No, I didn't know. Okay, so I, at that time, I didn't even know how gospel artists or artists made money. Wow. I wasn't privy to that. That's good. I was, I was. I never young, knew that. I was young and didn't know. So I didn't know how I could possibly even make a profession out of it. I was just kind of like, right. I love this. Smokey Norfolk then asked me to travel with him and sing background. I even asked so, him. I asked him, I said, how do you do that? Yeah. What do I do? And he said, you do the same thing you do on Sunday morning. Got you it. sing in the, at the mic. You sing the song. Now, I got in trouble. Because I would go on the road. I said, well, you told me to do the same thing I do at church. Now, sometimes I would lift my hands and stop singing. Yeah, you can't do that. He told me that. He oh, said, no, no, no you're no. a background singer. Yeah, now now you got to sing part. every part. You know, oh, yeah. I used I to would... have a background singer that used to fall out in the spirit. Oh, you, you, you fired him, huh? Her. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to get up off of this floor. <laughs> <laughs> and sing that song. We need that out See, I didn't know. I, I, I thought that oh, yeah, he, we need t- the he shouldn't have told me, do what you do on Sunday. So I said, oh, okay. Well, you know, sometimes I worship, sometimes I sing, sometimes I don't. So. I feel, all right, what I want to, uh, we got so much we could talk yeah, about. Yeah, we, we got to cover it. Right, so, so, so let me see. Uh, uh, first off, you end up making as much money as you would uh, being a professional ball player. Oh, I, I'm, I'm probably, probably now I make more than I would have made. I just watched you send your wife about 5000 <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. No, it'd be, well, in, he's like, oh my, oh my, put the camera on me, please. <laughs> he's like, oh, my wife needs like seven thousand dollars because the garage. <laughs> she broke the garage. <laughs> she broke the garage, and, I, and yeah, now you, now you getting me in trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm, I'm gonna leave that alone. She did. So though. you did. So you've done well uh, uh, financially. I drove in your car, so I know you, you do well. I, 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 I have a humble little car. Well, I'm doing well. I'm, I'm. It's only on the cusp of doing better, though, because I, I, I've i learned that just singing is not enough. You know, Ooh, that, that, doesn't, that doesn't generate the money that you think. You have to be creative, and I've found ways to be creative and generate rev- revenue outside of just being on stage. Talk, let's talk about that. All right, so let's, yeah. you, all right, you just hit something that I just think we should yeah. talk about. Two black successful men, we got to hit yep. it for a little bit. Yep. So let's talk about wealth. Let's talk about developing mm-hmm. wealth. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about why you should have a mindset of wealth that's come that's against good. the mentality of poverty and yeah. what that. So if I say all that kind of stuff to you, what do you oh want to say? Gosh. What do people need to know? Well, first of all, I'm a, I'm I a, like this. I feel like yeah, we're in the vibe. Yeah, now. we in something. Yeah. Okay. So first of all, I'm a Christian man, right? So I'm a Christian man. I believe in the endless resources of heaven. So uh, that's that's one. Right. That's foundational for me. That's a spiritual. Yeah. Principle. Like I I believe in tithing, giving. Yeah. I believe that. Um, as you give, it will be given back to you. Good, good. measure, pressed down, shaking together, running over. God wants you wealthy. Got it. Got I it. believe that, right? So that is the foundation. If you don't really believe that, then you won't believe a lot of things that I'm going to say or you won't agree with a lot that I believe. And so um, I sold and put so much money into fertile ground mm. that allows my family to see money come in from everywhere, mm. right? Now, that's the spiritual part of it. Mm. Now, the natural part of it is I allow my mind 
to dream outside of just whatever my day job is. Yeah. So my okay. day job is artistry. I'm okay. a recording artist and I sing and I get paid to sing places. But I allow my mind to come up with different concepts that I know will generate uh, income by using the money that I make from being an artist okay. to plant it over here and, yeah. and grow itself. So, so, your, so your occupation opens the door, opens but the you door. don't stay at the door. No, we can't stay at the door. That's just, yeah, that's just the occupation. If I, if I just made money as an artist, I'm giving you shouting music. Go ahead. Yeah, 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 yeah. If, look, if, if I just made money as an artist, I may, I may just make close to Whatever. or seven figures a year, right. right? But when I now extend myself out and begin to dream, now I can get over to making eight figures a year. You know, because my mind is now um, pulling money from other places, but. Again, Ooh, that all comes cool. from being plugged into heaven because yeah. I got to hear yeah. what's next. Yeah. Every idea that I've ever come up with that's generated, you know, a great amount of money is because I've been, yeah, I've been plugged in and I hear what is next. There's a scripture in, in, in the Bible that says that God will tell you things to come. Mm. And so I try to live hearing what's next. He's go, he's He's been prophetic since the, before the world began. Wow. So he's always speaking into the future. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy. That's what I'm thinking. Deuteronomy 8, uh, yeah. it is power, it's God that gives you power. To gain to wealth. To gain wealth. Mm. So he's always been that God yeah. giving us in advance what's to come. And so we just got to be. So, so, so what Todd is saying to y'all is that, you know, those of you that have a job, you might not be an artist, TV host, all mm -hmm, that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. But you have a job. What he's saying to you is that job is what opens the door for you to have resources to then start tapping into other things. Yep. So when you clock out at four o'clock, three o'clock, whatever your your time you get off from work, that should not be where your mind. That might be where your job stops, but that's not where mm -hmm. your creativity. Yeah, that's right. That's uh, right. It, it, I just told my son in the car. We were when we were pulling up on this ground today. I told him, I said, my job is to prepare you so that when you play professional baseball, that you're prepared mentally to put your money to work. Ooh. And so uh, we talked about that just in the car. I say, your money, if you don't give it an assignment, it will find something to do on its own. <laughs> That's why a lot of people, when they try to save their money, that money still goes because it's got a mind of its own. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and you can't, and, and you cannot, okay, let's, let's talk about this for a second, because this is another misconception. Because the scripture says the love of money is the root of all evil, yes, right? Yes, the love but of. you can't hate money. That's no, no. And you can't try to prove that you don't love money. <laughs> like, like a lot of people try to take that scripture and, and you want to try to prove like. Yeah, well, I just see, don't, I, this yeah, ain't, ain't, that don't mean nothing to uh -uh, me. Uh -uh, no, I, I don't care I nothing like about that. I like having money. No, yeah. I, say, I do. I like having money. I yeah. like being able to fly my kid with me to come in and do these interviews mm -hmm. with you without feeling like, oh, okay, let me see what we going. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I, I, I do like having right. money. Oh, I like eat. having Jesus more. Because he is the he is the one that gives me the power to gain wealth. Exactly. But it's a um, representation of yes, him. Yes, yes. You gotta so, represent him more. Yes. So 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 Javen, yeah, I I I I'm big on the fact that put my money in a place where it can work, rather it be an IRA account, an account that generates money over time. Or it is an assignment, yeah. meaning like if you have an idea and you invest in that idea Good. or it's property. You know, Good. a lot of people like to do real estate. You know Good. what I mean? Like, you know, everybody should love to do real estate. But yeah. I'm just saying, you know, find a place for your money to work, because if you don't, your money will find a place to work on its own. Oh, this has officially become a very All good right, podcast. <laughs> this has become a really good podcast. <laughs> yeah. I like this kind of talk. Because because I really do think that what I try to tell people and what I think is money should be spent, money should be invested. Mm -hmm. So if mm -hmm. you can swap that, you know, now you got to spend for certain things. But like if you can equal that out, so as much as you are spending money, mm -hmm. if you can invest equally, yeah. Yeah. I think then you start understanding the concept of, of what real wealth, what, and by the way, that's at whatever level. Whatever they, level. Because you can start a mutual fund yeah, with $50 yeah, a, yeah. a month. You people, can start it with anything. People feel like they got to have a lot of money yeah. to begin to see some type of return Ooh, or turnover. On, let's talk to the no, you just, it's Like you said, when we first started talking, it is a mindset. Poverty is a mindset. 
Poverty tells you I never have enough to do anything. Mm. And so because of that, I can't help y'all. I can't nope, tithe. I nope, can't give. I can't nothing. take nobody to lunch. That's, that's I can't do no Christmas gifts. That's it. Can't stand people that's like a that. Poverty you can't go get a pair of socks. Mindset. Yep. You can't do anything. Wow. And that's because the mindset on you has you bound in chains Ooh. and you don't want to do anything. And so you, you, you're too afraid to even make money. Okay, stop. Yeah. We got to change subjects. Yeah, let's do it. Yep. We could stay on yep. this all yep. day. But speaking about like tapping into other things and wealth, we ended up shooting a show. We did. And that's going to that's gonna do something for us too. <laughs> Financially, no. <laughs> <Why are> you... <laughs> but no, we did. We did. We did, David. We did. We shot a show. Um, David and I have been dreaming, <laughs> you guys. That's why we can sit on here and act, act, <laughs> act up a little bit because we've been dreaming together. Um, it, it, like we come up with a show called Take Your Place. It's a it's a it's a singing competition show where some unknown artist from around the world gets a chance to feature immediately immediate immediate notoriety. Um, they get a chance to feature on a, an established National artist record. And so we came up Unheard with that of. concept. Yeah. And um, and it's just the beginning, though, because we've been dreaming. Yeah. That's why we I think that's probably why we struck into the the the, the mindset of, of wealth and mm -hmm. And um, generating revenue and finances, and whatnot, because we kind of live in that space together. Javen and I are trying to, you know, bounce ideas off of each other that would generate not just money but impact the world. And yeah. so, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's so important. I think that even as artists, let's talk about let's talk about artists right quick. Gospel yep. artists out yep. there. Yep. Uh, I, I sent you a text uh, recently. Mm -hmm. Talk about that a little bit. Uh, the, the and, and what that meant for you. This text changed my life. We play so much. That's why it's it's a it's a beautiful brotherhood. Javen and I play around so much. But he sent me a message the other, other day because being an artist and being a business owner and someone that is has the potential to change systems, I have the, the responsibility of balancing which side of my mind I function on. Rather, and I'm that's, really, that's, that's, that's not easy. No, it's not. That's not easy. Because, I, because my artist side wants to really give a lot to the artist side. And then my business ownership side wants to give a lot there. And sometimes they collide. Mm -hmm. And Javen sends me a message, voice me. He said, I just feel led to tell you to lean into your mogul, mogul business mogul side. Lean into that side. Don't, don't be afraid because that side is going to cause the artist side to really, really uh, benefit greatly. And it... I sat there and I listened to it and I sent it to so many different people. I sent it to my wife. I sent it to Dr. Holly Carter. Wow. Dr. Holly Carter was like, that's God. That's a God wow. message. Because so many artists are just so, you, you only have one thing to rely on. And that Jeez. is your singing ability. And, and when people don't want to hear you anymore because the next great thing has come into the industry, now you're stuck. And, and that's and all you got. That's, if that's all you got, you're stuck. And so... I try to make sure that no industry or anything can control me because Jeez. that's not all that I have. I'm smart. And so I can use what's in my head as opposed to what's in my voice to, to generate and provide opportunities for myself. And so um, that message, it, it got me to realign myself and say, he's right. Yeah, you're on a good path. We're, we're going to release the album. The album's going to come out. Mm. But more importantly, we got so many things lined up that will cause people to say, I want to hear this album because I saw them sit down on this podcast and talk the way they talk. That's, to me, I think that's such a key thing for gospel artists, yes. particularly, because that's the, that's the genre that's we're right. in. That's of right. course, it's for all artists, but it is especially for, for... It's for everybody, right. honestly. You know what I mean? Everybody should, should try to have more than one thing that you're doing. Yeah. I don't care if that one thing is generate millions. Take, take... Do something else. Yeah, take 750000 and throw it over here and say, this is what I'm going to do. I, I told, my, told my son, I told him, I said... What do you want to do after you become a major league baseball player? Let's just say you want to open up a kid's uh, workout facility, baseball workout facility, while you're playing. Yeah. I say you just take some of your money, apply it there, use your name, use, and now you've generated another arm of who you are. I mean, you just, we just, we're always thinking. Yeah, so yeah. that's yeah. good, dude. I'll tell you, in full transparency, I was sitting in the office at the church and minding my own business, doing something that had nothing to do with any of what I ended up telling you about. And the Holy Spirit just Man. hit me. And you and y'all know how you can now do voice memo things. So I hit the recorder and I said what I said, and then I pressed sent. And then I went on doing something else. You turned back around 
and hit me back and said, hey, man, this thing right here. And to be honest with you, I kind of didn't know all of what I did. <laughs> Then I went back to like, okay, what did I say? Yeah. And I didn't even know. No, you shifted my life. Wow. Like, you, you literally shifted me because it gave me patience. That message made me patient because it said, don't, don't be in a hurry to throw out some music to the people. That's, that's really what it said to me. Don't be in a hurry to throw some music out. Take your time and let everything unfold. Let the people see the television show. Let the people see this podcast of us sitting down. Let the people see the special that airs on TBN. Let, let them see everything. Take your time. Yes, take That's your time. What There's was. no rush. Yeah, take your time. Yeah. O on the year, on the season. On the year, you said. Yeah. That's... You said the year can belong to you. And I said, Ooh. oh, man. Oh, yeah, you, you was anointed. I don't know what, what Bible <laughs> you don't read. Don't do it. Don't I know do you, it. <laughs> you were anointed that day. <laughs> All right, so we got to talk for the last couple of minutes. We yeah. got to talk about the journey. The journey continues, man. Continues. I don't know if I like the continues part. I know, because you, you keep wanting to I would have been in. Yeah, let's well, talk about I'm just the saying, journey. Because sometimes I think it just kind of says what it says. You know what I mean? Like, the if the journey, if it's, let me say. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead and change the album. If, album right, because if I was <laughs> in the creative meeting, to me, y'all y'all can comment. If you say the Please. journey, doesn't that mean it's. Isn't no, that what journey guys, means? Guys, guys. No, but I'm saying, let me, let me bring it home. Don't, let don't me, journey means you're moving. Let me bring it home. This is, let me bring it home. The journey continues. It speaks to the fact that many of us are not perfect like Javen. <laughs> we, have, <laughs> we, have, we have come through some hard places. We have we have hit some walls. Some of us have been disobedient. Okay. So, okay. You know, okay. like okay. and and what what, okay. what sticks out in my mind, Jamie? <laughs> what sticks out in my mind is is when I was arrested over the last couple of years. Okay. For for having an altercation with yeah. the guy at the yes. ATM. Yes. I wanted to put the continues on there is because that's not the end of the story. Like when you when you run into a bad moment or bad. Press, bad, whatever. I feel, here's what I want to do. I Good, feel like I want to do like a journey. whole season of a, a, of a podcast with you. Like I, I feel like we should do like a, like like shoot like tw 20, 10 episodes and just put them out there and see what happens. But we probably get in trouble. <laughs> we would. But okay, so that's why you put continues on continues there. because okay. I yeah because I've had some times that were publicly. Like that, he didn't. That wasn't good. He probably shouldn't have did that. And I wanted to just let Say people it's, know. It's, it, yeah, it's still God's still, still working on me. I'm not perfect. He's still writing my story out. So it, that's the continued part. The journey. Just let me just say this. Put the camera close. <laughs> they usually say they say when you have to explain something <laughs> that it wasn't it. Huh? <laughs> I feel all, like, all right, we can move on. All right, so the album, the album is called "The Journey Continues." It's a dope album. I was there as a live recording. Yeah, it's amazing. We got like two minutes. Brag on the journey continues. <laughs> After that, Hezekiah Walker. Hezekiah Walker is uh, on it. The walls, the, the kid wa from Terrell the walls. walls. Jabari Johnson. We uh -huh. had, yeah, got a sporadic feature out of him. Um, and and this really though, I kind of returned to my sound. That's really the yeah. biggest thing. Um. I lost. You packed it out, by the way. Yeah, yeah. We, you, got, we had thousands. Real, real of quick, there. a lot of people don't know. Real quick, he, uh, Todd sings a lot in Africa. A lot. He's like always booked in yeah, Africa. So in like Af a lot. In Africa, we expect. Yeah. We expect thousands. Crowd. Yeah, like seventy. What? Like, what was your biggest crowd? Seventy-five thousand. Seventy-five thousand. Yeah, and and so we expect that, but in America, you know, be, yeah. <laughs> because yeah, because you we know us. yeah we, we as far as. Coming out to to experience a move of God. Was that a ticketed event or? What, what? Yeah, I was all ticketed. Yeah. So people paid money. People paid money to come out. So y'all talking party. about? I would say probably like a five thousand seat type yeah. auditorium yeah. type church. Yep. And I mean, sold, packed out. Sold us tickets out. Yep. Packed yep. house. And then you rocked it out. You opened up with opened uh, up with with no weapon, which no weapon. I believe is probably the biggest song on the record. Love that song. Um, yeah, just a powerful song that I think will kind of last throughout. Time. A lot of churches will like that. No yep. weapon. It's a very easy song. As yep. soon as you get it, start singing it. It'll, yep. it'll yep. change your church. Yeah. So shift so the atmosphere. Big big songs all throughout the night, but big bigger moments. Yeah. Bigger moments where we pray yeah. and I mean and we go in and so it's just a, it's another one of those records for me, but it's a record that I'm really proud of because I've Should returned. Be to who I believe that I'm supposed to be in Christ. It's good. Like, yeah, instead of being wild. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and and then the 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 big song with uh, Hezekiah Walker, Bishop Hezekiah It's Walker. working. Is that radio right now? Again. Yeah. Yeah. It's working. <laughs> I like that song. Yeah. it's going. I, I believe that's another one for us. Another. Do you th is there anyone else that you think we might be sleeping on that might might pop out from that album, from the, from the night? 
that you can think great of? Great things, great things. Great things. Great things with Daryl Walls. Yeah. That's a, that's a massive song. Yeah, okay. It's a massive song. Yeah. yeah. That that I would honestly go to radio with that before um, No Weapon. Working. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Okay. Yep. And then definitely um, uh, All of My Help. All of My Help. You love that moment. I love that song. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's a tearjerker. Yeah, My Help is big. Yep. Love y'all. Y'all get the album. Now bless your life. The journey continues. The journey. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. The, the journey. The journey. I mean...